You can see them in action. Scrappers caught on tape looting a home in one of Detroit's nicest neighborhoods. But it's not just the location that makes this crime unusual. Seven Action News reporter Simon Shekhet tells us the scavengers may have gotten some help from someone on the inside. On an impromptu tour of his former rental property, Bill Dunbar can only shake his head. Can't you see the spot? The one-time landlord is more than a little sore because of these scrappers who struck Friday, November 15th. When they watched the video, like they said, you just get a popcorn and sit down and watch it. And they took everything but the kitchen sink. They took the furnace, the hot water heater, and the back door. So let's rewind a little further to when the trouble started back in May. Bill says that's when his tenants at the time first fell behind on rent. Checks weren't coming in on time. It was just getting later and later. Months of problems at this Rosedale Park home led to an eviction notice. Meanwhile, Bill decided to sell the house. Only the new buyer got a nasty surprise. In the meantime, someone let these low-class looters inside to score some scrap. It kind of pissed off the new owner. It was renovated back in 2010. Uh, new furnace, hot water heater put in, uh, renovations done to the bathroom. None of this is amusing to the new owner, who's too angry to talk. Unbelievably, at one point, he actually showed up during the heist, as seen here on video. That's the new owner coming face to face with the crooks, but not knowing it. And get this, the thieves somehow played it cool. They stop removing the side door from its hinges, close the rear door of their car, and ask him to move his car so they can get out. He didn't know who they were and what they were doing. Thought they were just unloading, uh, still loading up, and they were getting ready to pull out. Quite frankly, it's insulting to every Detroiter who cares for their neighborhood. And Detroit police say they'd also like to have a word with the vindictive ex renters. As far as Bill is concerned, insurance will pay for replacements, but. I will never rent again. His story isn't unlike many others who've lost faith when it comes to doing business in the D. Going forward, the good news is cops know these faces. With help from our story exposing them, it's only a matter of time before they get busted. Detroit police are looking into several leads, but they also want to hear from anyone who may have more information about these men. If you have any info, please contact Detroit police right away. Simon Shaquette, 7 Action News.